Hi, I'm Emma Caulfield. I am here for the Oz Comic Con, and I am with the AU Review. How's Sydney treating you? Sydney is treating me very well. Um, it's it's raining right now, so I'm very excited about that, and I'm hoping that that stays <laughs> for a while. We haven't seen rain in California, and I don't know how long. So with the rain, Sydney's being extra awesome. And I know I'm probably the only person who feels that way. <laughs> so how does it feel, like, 11 years later, still being very highly celebrated for your role in Buffy? Uh, it feels great. It's, um, it's, it used to surprise me, but it, it doesn't surprise me anymore. I just, it keeps growing and growing. And um, I'm, I become more aware every day of just the immense popularity of the show with from 10 sometimes even nine um you know all the way up to you know whatever i i don't know literally this is just the entire age range and uh gender and walks of life i mean it's it's ever it's very universal and and that's that's lovely with no idea that's what it was going to be when we were shooting it um i didn't at least i had no idea you know so it's, it's great yeah, it, it feels like it's kind of reached that status where it's kind of like got that iconic mm -hmm. status like Star Trek. Yeah, Something it feels like that. It definitely started, well, I don't know what it feels like to be on Star Trek. I know what it like, it's like to be a huge fan of Star Trek. I own all seven seasons of Next Generation on DVD. <laughs> Thank you. I know uh, almost all the episodes by heart. Not actually, well, not like the dialogue, but that's so boring. Why am I telling you that? <laughs> it's not interesting. The cult status of it, yes, yes, it is. Um, and then, you know, to be in the same room or even the same conversation with William Shatner is very surreal. Or Patrick Stewart. Like, these are people that I personally am, am very um, in awe of. And so to, to be in even the same company is uh, it's wonderful. <laughs> it's really nice. Well, like, what's it like, you know, um, linking back up with all the cast members? Uh, well, I see a lot of them in, in life. Um, I haven't seen Nick in forever, so that was, you know, just like, hey, what's up? It's been like 10 years, I think. It's been crazy. Um, that's always nice to reconnect with people. Um, you know, you, when they tell you stories, you've forgotten. Like, oh, you remember that time I played that song for you? And oh, that's why you did. And that was that day that so-and-so fell through the wall and we all had a good laugh, you know. Yeah. Um, so it's nice. It's like, a, it's like being reunited with friends from high school. Actually, friends from high school, not the people who were mean to you. <laughs> I mean, I know you, you started a video, uh, a YouTube channel <laughs> yeah. last year. Mm -hmm. yeah, is that still going? Or is it? No, SNM was a year. Uh, my damn channel owns SNMA, so I can't be SNMA anymore, which is just basically me, <laughs> right? So I could just be Emma Caulfield <laughs> somewhere. I mean, it's not the first time I've played versions of myself, so I could just do a third incarnation of Emma Caulfield and see just just how weird I can make her. Um, but that was that was very fun. That was very unexpected. That was just something that I. I, I enjoy having a presence online, and I thought this would be fun and experimental, and the fact that they, like, uh, we want to pay you, and we want to own you. Can you just, I'm paraphrasing, that. those weren't the exact words, but that's pretty much what it is. We own you, and we're going to write you a check. Are you, do you care to come on and do whatever it is you do? And it's like, great! Okay. How random. It was a really weird job, but fun. And so as someone who, who you know, um, writes and acts and produces, yeah. what, what do you kind of, leaning towards the moment in your career? I think all of it. That sounds greedy, doesn't it? I, I enjoy writing quite a bit. I Sometimes I've, I've written under my name, um, but as of, as of late, I don't write under my name at all. I have a completely different name, and no one knows what it is, which is kind of fun. It's a little social experiment just to see what I can get away with when I'm not me. Um, and I like that. I also like the I, I like uh, having a really deep personal stake in the content and having having a voice in a way that you don't necessarily rarely get to do when you're um, speaking on behalf of someone else's vision. You know, you get to put your own vision out there, which uh, also can 
be even more soul crushing when you get to a certain point and they're like mm, now we're gonna have to now pass you know and it's been in development for forever whatever and then you're like oh it's 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 painful but then that really sounds weird to say but wonderful pain because there's so much more to gain and lose when it's yours um and when you can see it affecting people and someone's like i love that but, you know that's nice what kind of draws you to a, a project? I know, I know a lot of your, your webcomic series mm -hmm. has kind of this deeper, more intellectual, self-deprecating humor. <laughs> yeah. is, that, is that what draws you to projects like that? Yes. Uh, I, I like to... I, my brain is always... It's just, it's constantly... It's just, it's just tick, 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 you know? And um, it's not actually loud like that. Otherwise, I'd probably be in, <laughs> in a mental hospital somewhere. It's a little less annoying than the tick, tick, tick. Um, but yeah, I have, a, I have a lot that I want to say. I have a lot of opinions <laughs> on things. Uh, I, I'm, I would say that I'm far more, I think, of uh, an, an observer of behavior than actually being the behavior. Um, and that, that's... It's just fascinating to me to, to just to take that part of myself and then put it down on paper and, and do it in a really, you know, like, well, maybe I want it to be a person saying it, or maybe it's a cat, or maybe it's, it's whatever it is. But, I mean, my point's going to get across. It might not seem obvious at first, but, I mean, I think, I think my subversive self is kind of front and center. So, how do you kind of choose, choose the medium by which to get your message across? I know, you know comics and... Whatever kind of comes up. I mean, the, the comic, uh, both of them actually were, were in, in our minds, um, uh, like pilot pitches. And then we were advised to, you know, put them down in a comic form and then that was online. But then IDW bought Contrapussy, which was wonderful. I had, that was a completely unexpected bonus. Um, and it felt good. It felt very validating. Like, okay, you are like top three publishing houses and you signed off on that weirdness. So that's cool. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's pretty much, it. it's kind of wherever the love is, whatever sort of, um, I don't know, venue is saying, we'll take your crazy. Yeah, come on, let's go. That's kind of where I guess I'm going to go. <laughs> wherever, if I basically, I follow the money. That's what happens, you know? Whoever's gonna pay me, and I'll be your monkey bitch. It's basically what it is. Uh, one of your favorite roles I read was uh, in Time Up. Oh, what Brilliant movie. Thank you. Um, I'm always involved in little independent features, and it's the, the you know the the miracle and the curse of, of independent features. You just never know if if they're ever going to be seen by anybody. So when they are, it's it's fantastic, and when they're not, it's like. Well, that was fun. <laughs> um, but I have a good one, I think. Well, I know it's good. I just hope people see it that's coming out this year called Black to Gold. Um, and I'm always, I'm always on the eye. And then I've been, so, I've been missing TV a little bit as well. So, yeah. um, I don't know. I have my eyes on a couple of, of things. We'll see what comes up. I like to try. I don't always succeed. I mean, sometimes you just end up doing jobs because, you know, it's that thing called mortgage. <laughs> like, oh, I'll have to pay for my house, so I guess I'm gonna have to be distressed girl number five or whatever, boring. Uh, but then you get those really rare and incredible opportunities to do something really fun. So, I don't know, I'll just keep planting seeds in various places and, and see which ones sprout.